G'day guys, Mungrel here. Just a quick video, um, I wanna clear up some confusion. We're getting a lot of emails and a lot of questions about um, the differences between a UAV controller certificate and a remote pilot certificate. Effectively, there is no difference. Um, and I'll give you a quick history of why we got here and how we got here and where we're headed. Originally, uh, the issue of a UAV controller certificate came via the PPL route. There were no training schools set up. So you went via a PPL route, you passed the PPL exam, CASA issue you, issued you with a UAV controller certificate. Then we have the drone explosion, and you can buy drones on every corner, and so CASA stood up organisations like ours, registered training schools, to be able to train pilots to get them a certification. They decided at that time that anyone coming through our schools would get a remote pilot certificate. Well, unfortunately, just recently, CASA's legal team have told them that they can't do that anymore because their regulations don't provide for it. So as of the second week of August 2015, is where we are now, um, if you come through our school or someone else's school, uh, or if you pass a PPL exam, doesn't matter which way you go now, you are now going to be issued with a UAV controller certificate. Um, if you've got a remote pilot certificate, or well, called a certificate of authority actually, don't worry, it's not gonna be revoked or taken off you or anything, uh, it, it, it'll stand. But anything from this point on uh, will now be called a UAV controller certificate. Now. We also get some confusion about um, restricted and unrestricted. Gone, those days are over. There are no longer restricted or unrestricted UAV controller certificates being issued. Um, there are categories of weights, sub seven, sub 20, et cetera, et cetera. So if you come through our school, you could get a sub seven. You could also apply and get a sub 20 if that's the way you wanna go. It could be fixed wing, it could be multi-rotor. It's, it's whatever route you wanna go down. So please don't be told by anybody that if you're getting a remote pilot certificate or you're gonna get a controller certificate, so you're gonna be better or worse than someone else, that's not the case anymore. They are all the same. Only the weight categories that you apply for are obviously different. Um, it, it sort of, I guess, lines us back up with the whole controller being the guy actually flying the aircraft and the operator being the company that operates or the individual that operates the aircraft so and, and runs the aircraft. So operators and controllers, we're back to that. Will it change again when the new regs come out? Probably, but for now, anyone being issued with certification, whether it's through us, through another school or through the PPL route, will get a UAV controller certificate. Um, if you've got any further questions or you want something cleared up, Send us an email, uh, training at fpvaustralia.com.au. We'll go to the training department um, and we'll be able to answer all your questions. If you want to call us, you certainly can do that too. 02611128551. And you can also find a lot of this information on our website, fpvaustralia.com.au. I hope this has cleared up some of the confusion for you and uh, helps you get on your way to getting certified in this fantastic industry. Until next time, enjoy. 